Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Space Age playthrough. Since the last episode, I haven't done too much, but we got uh, some robot stuff automated for flying robot frames. Lubricant is so easy to make on Fulgora, it's so weird. Just pumping heavy oil wherever you want. Um, but yeah, that way we have a little bit more of a robot stockpile for when we need them to improve the network. Might as well. And yeah, so we've got the Holmium going. Obviously that's going fine. I am gonna be flooded with regular plates, but I've got my uncommons limited. So at some point it'll stop. I probably need to have a recycler system going. Um, did I ever automate recyclers? I think I did, so we can request these. Um, maybe I do something like this to get rid of any excess. Like once our homium plates exceed 5,000, it's over 5,000, then we feed it into the death loop of recycling. Sure. And you might be like, well, but then you could put quality in those, and then, and then, and then, and then. But you only end up with like a 2% upgrade rate. Which is not great. But we could. We could. I'm just not going to deal with it. Um, so, now we're going to work towards the electromagnetic plant. Ah! In fact, we can already make it. Holy crap, I didn't realize. All we need is holmium plates. So, yeah. Let's set up our beautiful mall blueprint. Craft those EMPs. And that's it. Except I have no steel? That can't be right. I'm out of steel? Uh, that is right. Wow. I didn't expect to run out of steel. Um... Surprised Pikachu face. Is there anything I can do about that? Because right now we are recycling LDS, I think. But that should be sending. It should be sending stuff on to go to the providers. So the steel we get back from LDS should be fine. Are we even recycling any LDS right now? I think we are. Hard to tell sometimes. Um, but yeah, I can't do much other than that. The only thing left to do is, like, copy this blueprint. I probably should find a way to make it a bit smaller. Because it's very lengthy. Um, and we could stack this, like, behind this, and then this up next to it. And then it's at least a little bit more rectangular. Because um, I kind of want to get a second belt of scrap processing going. One belt of scrap is just not enough. If it was a stacked belt, we'd be going a little better, but it's not a stacked belt. So yeah, my steel is really, really hurting right now. That's surprising. I wonder what's eating all of my steel. I mean, bots were eating a little bit, I guess. But engines are only like one... Excuse me, uh, like one steel, right? So, where is it all going? No idea. But check out this thing. Electromagnetic plant. We have it. Our first new fancy building of the game. There it is, ready to go. And it can make Pulls. More of itself. That's ironic. Um, solar panels and accumulators. Lightning rods. Beacons. 
all the modules, all the circuits, the new stuff, superconductors, electrolytes, and supercapacitors, cables, discharge defense, because why not? That's funny that you can make, like, discharge defense, but not laser turrets. Um, sweet! So those are all the things you can now make with high productivity. Uh, which is really cool. Really cool. So I guess we need an accumulator set up for this. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to remake my mall blueprint already. Uh, here. I'll just do that. And then we'll plop down an EMP. What's its crafting speed? So it starts at 2.0. So it's faster than... It's almost double. Well, what is that? An extra... An extra three-fifths. So it's 60% faster. But then the plus 50% productivity is also a speed boost, right? So that's really kind of... At least if you're not adding modules. It's kind of a, a crafting speed of three by default, which is nuts. Wow. And it stacks to 20. Okay. Innate high productivity hype, indeed. Um, so we wanna now come up with a recycler blueprint that uses these things so we can get higher quality modules rather than this old method. Um, okay, so I was working on a sort of... Let me, let me check on power real quick. Hold on. Uh, power's been okay over the last few nights. Or days. I guess it's daytime when you don't have power. So we're going to let the bots do their thing, hopefully to figure some stuff out. But I designed a blueprint last night for, um, I have a quality stuff book now. I think this will be helpful. So this was my basic design for a two ingredient, um, make, like basically make anything higher quality type blueprint. And it's got five buildings making the regular thing. It's kind of like what we did with accumulators, but I made it a little more streamlined. And I only have one recycler. I think in most cases, you might only need one. I can always add a few more. Um, I, if you're making something cheap like gears, one probably wouldn't be enough. But the, even then, it feels like those go really fast. It has seemed like faster recipes get recycled even faster. I mean, look at this. So even then, I might not need um, more than one. So I'm not really sure. We'll have to test it out over multiple cycles. But anyway, uh, now I need to kind of rebuild this with the electromagnetic plants. Um, which is interesting. So... I guess I can take... And should I make one with just three to four ingredients by default? Like, because a lot of the things we're going to be making are going to require three. Yeah, modules. Or, or red circuits. Or superconductors. Or supercapacitors. And those require a fluid as well. So it's worth keeping that in mind, too. So... Thing one to do is move this up a tile to account for the buildings fitting in here. And then we'll need to move stuff over a little bit. Um, some lamps. See, lamps really are just, they don't provide enough light. I need that bigger lamps mod already. Okay, so then down here. We'll put five. Is five the right number? I don't know. Um, and we will parameterize this, of course. Oh, do I want to account for... Yeah, sorry. We need to account for multiple. Uh, 
more than two lanes. So then the recycler will be outputting up to four item types. So the first thing we need to do is filter out Uh, uncommon or higher. Quality greater than normal. Or we'll just say normal goes left. Um, so then all the uncommon items immediately go over to this world. And we don't need that one. So those are at least uncommons. And they go over there. Hey, Theranos! <laughs> we we are in the, the black hole of quality. I mean, we just unlocked the electromagnetic plant, so now we're designing a module. Basically, I mean, it doesn't have to be modules, but electromagnetic plant version of the make rare quality. And eventually epic, but I just don't have epic yet. And now we're going to need to filter out the four different lanes of stuff. So... So we're going to need one item to stay to the right, and then another item to stay to the right of that. And then that becomes belt number one. And then the last item is going to be on these two. So these will be like two... I don't know what's happening here. Um, so these will be up to four ingredients of normal type. The other ones are all going to get flung into chests, so it doesn't matter that they're all on the same lane. So that works. Um, we're gonna need a little more space here. And then, that means we have to move this out. Wonder, can I pack it in a smaller space now that I have more space? Maybe? know what I can do. I could do it this way. That feels illegal, but it works, right? Yeah. Yeah, this totally works. The, the illegal tech- this would have worked for my other build too, even. I don't even need the extra space. The Jedi wouldn't show you- oop, show you this technique. Uh, but it's certainly- Certainly will work. Um, so that one is epic. And then this is, by definition, legendary. Okay, so that gives me an extra, extra tile back of height. Now these are the four ingredients. Still not as cursed as wagon tech. That is true. That is true. What'd you miss, Salt Shaker? Not too much. We got Holmium plates going, is kind of the main thing. And now we're working on electromagnetic nonsense. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then now the problem is the outputs. Um. What if I did this? And then we have room to do this kind of technique. Beautiful. So there's that. Now let's just pick something. Um, for argument's sake. So that'll be the uncommon version. That will be... Ah! The rare version. Oh, you have to actually click both. Okay. Uh, you will be the epic. You will be the leg. Legendary. 
Legend of Gary. And then... That point... You guys are all... Well, we're gonna need fluids. Ugh, fluids. Hold on, we forgot about fluids. I'm glad I thought about it now, though, rather than later. So, the fluids... will fit there. Cursed cargo ship mining thing. <laughs> mm. I didn't do... It, w it wasn't a cargo ship mining thing. I, what I did was the... The cursedest thing I've done was certainly... Uh, what was it called? It was on freight forwarding. Um... The, the mining dr no, nah. drilling rig. Is that what they're called? Whatever whatever it's called, that was the cursedest thing I've done. Alright, and then... This can come up and connect. Okay, so there's fluids for everything. The dredging platform, that's what it was called. There's fluids. All right, so you go back to this. And then these are different ingredients, right? So I, I can't know to parameterize it. I'll have to do like ingredient one. So I'll just start with setting these to just inserter, right? You're gonna be yellow. And you're gonna be red, okay, to the right. So that'll be ingredient one, two, and three of whatever the parameter is. And then this obviously can be changed. It's just filtering off rare stuff. So this ignore this basically recycles all the uncommons back into rares. But sometimes I'm gonna want to keep uncommons, and I'll change that. Um. Does anything else need a change? Is anyone seeing problems with this? Or do they think it will work? Uh, I'm seeing a problem here. Bottom left inserters. Oh yeah, that's important. I completely accidentally a building. Um, so that matters. Okay, fix that. Not enough decorations. Uh, our... I think we're pretty okay here. I guess if I did this, I could fit a substation in there. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. Uh, should this have quality? Yeah, it should, right? Definitely should. Because that's... I mean, they should all have quality, right? But I just don't have the high enough... Oh, right, and we get even more... An even higher chance for quality in these bad boys. Because they are... Yeah, 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 okay. Because they uh, they just have five module slots, is what, is what I'm trying to say. And then a lamp, and a lamp. All right, this is a very full Gora blueprint, if I've ever seen one. All right, so save this as, I don't even know what I call it. GMP quality upgrader. I can remove the small poles. It's true. Can I remove this one? I'm, I'm iffy about that. No, that one isn't covered anyway. Um, 
All right, parameterize you. You are a parameter, and you guys are all ingredients of zero. And save. Does this work? Who knows? We're going to find out. But the quality stuff blueprint must... I don't need stone brick on here. We'll get the book there. Okay. Uh, can I quickly explain parameters? Ah, haha, that's impossible. Uh, also, did we break in here? No, 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 we're good. Um, parameters are basically, it just allows you to say like, okay, I want this same build, but with efficiency modules. Well now, because I parameterized those, this is the wrong blueprint. Because I parameterized those things, I can place this blueprint and be like, oh, I want efficiency twos. And now it's gonna set efficiency twos. And you can even select ingredients of efficiency twos. So it's gonna properly sort out these ingredients onto different lanes of the belts like we wanted it to. So that's the, that's the basics. Um, pretty sweet. Pretty cool stuff. We also parameterized a, uh, a make anything for the mall blueprint. And it, check out this. This is so cool. It uses a formula over here to set how many items it's requesting. And in this case, it's taking the smaller of two numbers. You can even use like, functions like minimum and maximum in here and it's taking the smaller of either a full stack of the ingredient or 60 seconds worth of crafting so now you're not gonna do the thing where you end up with like 800 gears being requested so yeah parameters are really cool i'm i'm jazzed about it uh, but yeah anyway let's actually place this thing and get it going um Now here's the problem. I still don't know if we want to get going on rare quality twos. Well, should I, or should I just work on researching tech threes? I should probably work towards this first, right? So many things to do. Which one do I do first? Well, the, pr the, the question I have now will still be relevant then, which is, should I focus on just making, because like right here, I'm focusing on making quality ones, and then I'm doing the quality twos in the recycling loops. But the question is, should I have quality ones in recycling loops, and then have the other ingredients in recycling loops, so that I can make quality twos already at high quality? Does that make sense? And I don't know which is more efficient. I just... I can't tell. Which is more efficient? Because if you spend... If you're recycling all the quality ones... To make only higher quality quality ones, then you also need to recycle... The red chips and blue chips to make higher quality red chips and blue chips. Why not both? But you wouldn't need the sec. Uh, it's one or the other. I mean, you could you could do a little bit of one and then the rest in tier two. But if I were to make basically only rare, like the blueprint I have here, which is kind of similar to what we were just looking at. This was my initial build for accumulators. I can set it to where I only am collecting, you know, uh, greater than or equal to rare accumulators. So then if you only do rares, then if there was a tier two accumulator, like there is of modules, we could just straight up make rare quality two modules. And we wouldn't have to ever do any recycling of them. So the question is, is it better to do the recycling loop on the Q1s and the red chips and the blue chips all as three separate processes and then only make rare quality twos? Or is it better to just make all of the quality ones you can 
all the red chips you can, all the blue chips you can, and then do the recycling loop on quality twos. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm guessing, at least in this case, there is a mathematical answer. Um, there's probably a correct answer to that. The correct answer might change based on the tech you have available. Um, should it not be the same? I honestly don't know, Zekula. This is advanced enough that my gut doesn't have a sense for whether it's the same or not. It feels like loosely they should be similar, but I could see it not actually being the same. And in this case, it's it's even further compounded. Like, it'd be one thing if we were asking this question on Nalvis, but it's even further compounded in the confusion that we're getting some amount of uncommon and rare blue and red chips already done by just our scrap recycling. So... It, it's just... It, it's crazy. Oh, I need some repair packs, apparently. Um, this is just crazy. Well, while we while we think about that, let's get lamps automated. I don't have to worry about that anymore. And then, why are these slow? I'm still out of steel. I'm out of homium. Uh oh I'm out of homium because we're out of water? No. I'm out of homium ore. Okay. Did we not have a bunch over here? Did I already eat all this up? Yeah, we already ate all that up. Okay. Yeah, I love that you guys think this is cool, too, because I, I think this is just the coolest. Asking these questions, thinking about these questions, it's just so interesting. I believe, in this case, because we are already getting higher quality sources of the other ingredients, it's better for me to make the quality loop on tier ones. Let me just remove all this, by the way, because these are all dead to me now. Um, I think it's better to make the quality loop recycling loop on the Q ones, and then just only make rare Q twos. That that's my vibe right now. Is it the right vibe? I don't know. But here we're basically requesting the ingredients for rare Q2s. And I think that's the way we're gonna go. At least for now. Um, that might be the wrong thing to do, I don't know. But we're gonna do it. So then we're gonna take that blueprint we just designed. We're gonna plop it down somewhere that it fits. Like here. We're gonna say Q1s, and this is going to achieve for us rare quality, quality tier one modules. Um, and then the only thing left is to deliver the, the initial materials. So, we need something like this. And probably need to limit you based on red circuits available greater than 500. So we're not just spending the ones we need for like base basics base basics uh same thing greater than 600 okay
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Also, quality with productivity. Haven't had that before. That's cool. Man. Now, this is kind of overdone because we're, we don't even have Epic and Legendary unlocked. I just... I think I want to make my blueprints with those things in mind. Um... And I already have some quality Module 2 rares. So what's the best place for those? Probably the Recycler first. Very interesting problem to solve indeed. And then here... We need... to request cables. I love how we've got bots flying cables around. That just feels wrong in some form or fashion. Um, and these are going to run only if cable greater than, I don't know, 3,000. Yeah, okay. So if we, this is if we have extra. <sighs> but now I need to change this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to change this to be electromagnetic plants. This will make us more green chips. By using the new building. brain hurts. It's too early for this. All right. It's not even early. Green circuits. Oh my gosh, they're so fast with these speed modules. Oh, it's beautiful. I could even add more prod in there if we had... Should I do quality right now? Do I need quality green chips anywhere? Maybe. Belt doesn't go to second insert. We don't have enough cable, it seems. But that's okay. It's just using our excess cable, basically. All right, now these are all running. Um, uh, we did this wrong. These need to be switched. Um, I forgot that there's a kind of a predetermined order that the, the filters have decided upon, and we have to follow that rule. Otherwise, it's going to break things. Okay. Science could all be going- what science? We have basically nothing to research. I could research the atomic bomb, or infinite researches. I like giving Navis a break once in a while. I mean, there's a couple... Ooh, that's a new icon. Ooh, that's the Tesla turret icon. Uh, welcome, Strudel. Welcome, welcome. We could do more follower robot count. Get up to 75 robots. Oh my gosh. Um, make our gun turrets even more effective on our, on our platforms. Give lasers a boost. A little bit more steel productivity, but you know, there's not there's not too much I feel the need to do right now. Um, okay, so the recycler is getting bogged down. Crap.
Oh, no, it's not. Uh, these need to be lower priority than the recycler somehow. Their way. Is this so hard? I think the easiest way to do it would be set them both back here. Um, and then just turn this one off if this has anything on it, maybe? Anything greater than zero. No. If anything equals zero. <sighs> and then the reds are supposed to be... Well, basically, greens need to be on the close side. Technically, reds need to be on the close side, too. Oh my. I don't know how this got so complicated and weird. Um, I feel like this should be simpler, but I'm not thinking about it the right way. But they do need to be on opposite sides of the belt. This is so confusing. Because these are not going to feed in the same ratio. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Because uh, these guys aren't going to feed in the same ratio that... You know, the, the recycler is going to get the ratios right, is what I'm trying to say. However... The these inserters are not. Is that just problematic in general? Because then when these floodgates open, they're gonna. Oh gosh. This is so weird. It's almost like I need a requester chest for each one of these buildings. But then I need these inserters to be a higher priority than the one from the requester chest. How does that work? Um... Oh, this is such a... such a tricky, tricky wicket. Sticky wicket. Tricky sticky wicket. So how do I make it so that this does what I want it to do? Why not sushi belting? Now there's an idea. It's too late for that now for this build, but sushi build could certainly work. Put the chests after the recycler. Uh, I don't- we kind of had that already. It doesn't change anything. Also there. That was part of the problem. Um... I mean, this might work. No, it's going to put red belts on the wrong side. Here, let me change it to that.
What I really need is prioritization of the other, of the recycled resources over the inserted ones. Which would imply that I should insert them like right here or something. But then there's not much of a buffer for the recycled resources. Um, but maybe... Maybe I should just do it that way. Because basically I could put this one here. And then... Uh, let's see. And then the reds. How does that even... Uh, I don't think there's a way to fit that in here, even. In this case, I only have two ingredients. But yeah, I need a better solution for this for the future. This is not a good solution. This is certainly... Certainly not a good solution. Okay. Well. The good news is we at least... Uh, I think have a solution now. Maybe. <laughs> oh. This is so cool, but also so confusing. Oh yeah, now that should prioritize the recycled ones. Always. I think that'll work. So then this whole thing will live to make high quality Q1s. Also, does anybody know anything about the recycler time to recycle? Is it real? I mean, I assume it's related. That's a 15 second crafting time. What's this crafting time? I don't know. Is it a fourth of the crafting time of the original item? Red is going the wrong way. Yeah, what's up with that? This should be the second ingredient. Yeah, that that's screwed up. I'll change it like that. Uh, no, I actually need to filter it. Otherwise, it'll not work right. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what's going on with any of this. This base is beyond me. Let's uh, let's work on the new the new technology pack. <laughs> um, so the new pack needs super capacitors, accumulators, electrolytes, and holmium solutions. Okay. So I need to work on making super capacitors. I'm just gonna ignore that for a while. So super, super capacitors are batteries, green chips, holmium plates, superconductors, and electrolytes, which is stone, heavy oil, and holmium solution. And this is copper plastic. Oh, some light oil. All right, we got to do some cracking. Let's get cracking. Um, I may have too many holmium plates going here. It's eating all of my holmium. Release the cracking. Okay. 
Okay. So, if we're gonna make superconductors... I think I'm happy with a bot-based approach here. Which involves requester chest, fighter chest. That seems appropriate. Lightning rod. And some cracking. Maybe here. Maybe oil to light oil. Flip, flip. Boom, boom. Water. And then light oil. Or heavy oil. It's back here. Need these to be requested. Maybe not 50. 30 is fine. What's up, banana split? How am I liking Fulgora so far? I'm loving it. The quality, I, I've been working on like quality loops, and when you're mixing that with all the scrap recycling and whatnot, it's just, it's gotten kind of nutty. Uh, in a good way. Certainly is breaking my brain in all, all the right places. Alright, well, that's super capacitors. Um, chromium solution, I may need to prioritize away from plates. So what we might want to do is a little bit of a tank situation. And only pump if holmium solution is greater than a thousand. So this way we're always going to prioritize Holmium Solution going to finishing making the electrolytes that we need for supercapacitors. Okay. I'm gonna leave room for beacons. And then this is going to be making super... No, we need to make electrolytes, too. Ah, we need to make all the things. Um, so these will be the super capacitor makers. And then... We'll need electrolyte makers. We'll just... Also keep within beacon range. Look, you never know what you're gonna beacon later, so. Might as well. Some lights. Okay, so electrolytes. Electrolytes, power lights, more lights than your body has room for. All right, and that needs stone. Needs all the things. Um, it is so close to Monday. It's almost time. I guess I only need this every other. Uh, it is almost time. It is almost that time. The time for all good Factorians across the world to get their hands on Space Age. Was that a Power Thirst reference? It sure was. I was hoping someone would catch on. Oh man. Can't tell you how many times I watched that video as a teenager. That was right on brand for my style of humor back then. I mean, it probably would still be funny to me, but it certainly was funnier 
when I was that age. Alright, um... Or maybe it was Brondo. Brondo and Power Thirst were basically the same thing. I can't remember which one did what, but... You know, I, I need some high-quality substations is what we need. Okay, what are we doing? So we need requester chests for stone. Uh, let's just do 40. Maybe I should go on this side. Oh, that doesn't really work either. You know, this was fine. Um... Roboport needs to be up here. So there's stone. And then the holmium solution needs holmium, which is the current problemo. Uh, and I also connected this improperly. It needs to be like that. And then that's electrolytes. Heck yeah. Beautiful. And then we just need all these things. I say just, like, it's not that much stuff. It's kind of a lot of stuff. Um, but it'll work fine. I'm just gonna double all of these because they're pretty small. And this, with any amount of luck, should result in our first Super capacitors. I guess I need provider chests too. Which actually means we're gonna have to put the electrolytes on the other side. Because I, I need room for uh, beacons and I wouldn't have room for beacons if I didn't put it on this side. That's what I'm thinking there. All right, provide. No, three stacks. <laughs> yes, do a lock. We did quite a bit. Uh, we're basically setting up super capacitors. I mean, when you're using when you're using bots, uh, stuff goes pretty fast. I feel like. But yeah, so holmium is the big issue right now. Are we like not getting any holmium? What's going on? Um, yeah, you only get about 30 a minute from a single belt, and that probably checks out. It's 1%. So 1% of... What do I even get per minute? 45 times 60? What, I don't even know what that is. 30 times 60. 1800. 2400? Items a second? I can't do math. Uh, 45 times 60. 2700. 2700 times 0 0.01 is 27 a minute. From a blue belt of scrap recycling. That's it. So, not very much. Uh, it certainly is a good place for productivity modules. Um, and that actually makes me think going for prod modules here could be better. Now, you can't make holmium plates. Yeah, we would need a foundry. So, Vulcanus first would make holmium a little cheaper. Um, there are calculator mods, for sure. Just for, like, regular calculations. But, yeah, this whole thing is kind of dead in the water right now. Just because I have no holmium. Now I could use the rarer ores. Um, I should probably have one for each. I didn't really leave space for that, did I? Um, so let's do that. Oh, there's the oil ocean right there, of all places. So you're gonna make uncommon holmium solution, you're gonna make rare holmium solution, which, again, is not really 
rare holmium solution. It's just making it so that... I can utilize the rare ore that we're getting from scrap recycling. They're all going to make the exact same fluid, which is common. Request your chest for you, and then a request your chest for you. <laughs> There's no rare water either, exactly. Uh, does the percent rise with the quality of the recycler? Oh, you mean the the fraud percent from the? No, no, that's fifty percent regardless. Maybe that's not what you're asking. Um. Pump these up a little bit. Alright, so there's a little bit more holmium, but that's not changing much. If recyclers increase... No, recycler quality... God, the... I really wish they had changed the words of some things. Um, <laughs> like, quality modules should have a different name, because the word quality already gets thrown around way too much. But anyway, recycler quality only increases crafting speed, just like assemblers only increase crafting speed. It doesn't actually... The recycler itself has nothing to do with quality. I feel like it's really easy to get quality and recycling confused. Recycling is a completely separate thing from quality. You can put quality modules into a recycler, which then means when it returns items, it has a chance to upgrade those items. Just like when you craft items, you have a chance to upgrade them. But other than that, they're, they're separate mechanics. Um, okay, so these guys are making electrolytes. That pipeline's gotta fill up first and back up. And then that'll back up, and then this will back up, and then we'll start making holmium plates again, and then that'll reach some sort of equilibrium where we'll be making supercapacitors. Um, we also could set up a supercapacitor maker that's going for the rare, or at least the uncommons, because we're going to have a decent amount of uncommon holmium plates and stuff, but these don't have quality modules in them. So right now I'm not making any uncommon superconductors. <sighs> so unless I put quality modules in here, which I might as well, because it doesn't mess with their productivity. Um, oh, I also just realized we had unlimited superconductors going. So that'll get me at least a few uncommon superconductors, and then that'll get me some uncommon supercapacitors. Does that even matter? I guess that will help me eventually make some uncommon mech armor guaranteed if we do it this way. I'll need an uncommon power armor mark too though. Oh my god. Other than that, maybe some uncommon lightning collectors. Quality hurts your brain. Yeah, get in line. Get in flipping line for that one. Oh my goodness. Okay, so at least we can say we've got this automated, and now we just have to wait a few minutes for that to actually uh, work. Now I'm curious if in all this time this has done much. Oh, uh, we've definitely got a recycler problem. <laughs> definitely got a recycling problem here. Um, of course there's a cliff in our way. That's obnoxious. Though we might be okay? No, 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 that's not enough space. Um... This is unfortunate. I 
I guess we'll just have to throw a couple of extra recyclers here. Gosh, even that's in the way. I'll just add two for now. And those need to go on the same side of the belt, otherwise it would break things. Okay. And then we need high quality Q2s in there. Okay. Uh, so that'll keep the recycling of those going. And then this is waiting for rare Q1s to make rare Q2s. Okay. I, I did have smoke coming out of my ears earlier. That is that is accurate. Uh, for now, we'll do uncommon Q2s, though. Uh, yeah, once we start making prod modules, we will certainly use the EMPs. This should catch up. It's showing as 0.42 a second, and these are producing a total of 0.45, plus whatever these were producing. So I think even two recyclers should be fast enough. Maybe? See, there's one. It should be getting picked up. Yeah, and that gets taken over to here. And then we make a guaranteed quality module too. Now what we lose out on here is that there's no chance to upgrade. Wait, why am I not making this in a EMP? Um, Cause that at least gets me productivity on a thing that normally doesn't allow for productivity. This is killing me. Um. <laughs> My head! <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. And then eventually we could make epics with this and whatnot, but that's a whole different topic. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. I think that's what people are talking about. We can also get beacons with higher productivity. I mean, we're just sitting here, so why not? But that's not the biggest of deals. Oh my goodness. Uh, these can get deconstructed now. This is nutso stuff, y'all. This whole quality loop nonsense. Uh, I don't think... No, no, no. You still can't put productivity modules where you couldn't before. So this 50% productivity you get from these buildings is almost like cheating, right? It's like you're getting to get prod on something you normally wouldn't be allowed to. You can still put it, if I was making something like circuits, then I can do productivity modules. Um, so those are the same rules as assemblers, basically. It's just the building happens to have a 50% productivity attached. That doesn't have to come from productivity modules. Um, which is really neat. But yeah, this seems to be working properly now to make rare Q1s. That's what this is doing. We're getting rare Q1s out of this. We could set it to get uncommon or rare Q1s, but yeah, for now it's getting rare Q1s. I don't have a setup for blue circuits um, we could set up a setup for blue circuits and red circuits to get only rares out of it. I have a lot of extra gears that are happening somehow, and green circuits. Um... Where are we getting all these gears from? Because we're supposed to be recycling the gears. 
we have too many. They should be getting deleted. So we shouldn't be getting regular gears at this point, but we are. Yeah, I'm seeing regular gears roll in here. So what's happening here? Um... Oh, it's because this belt is oversaturated, so regular gears are flying on past. Um, we kind of already knew that was a problem. And we are now encountering it like we thought we would. I don't even know what to do. Um... I mean, we could do that, but then this becomes a problem. Then we have to do that. I guess that helps a little bit. This stuff's making it to the end, so we probably need more. Um... So that should mean gears are not making it to the end now. Okay, yeah, that's better. Anything else problematic happening? I don't know how the scrap got in there, but I think we're okay. Everything else seems fine. Stone brick is going to build up because that's a recycling product of concrete. So we need to add in basically one of these that's measuring stone brick. Regular. Greater than 2,000. And then this needs to be left stone brick. And then we need to delete that and add one more out here. Uh, where do you unlock stack inserters? That is on... Yeah, Gleba. I almost Gleba. I almost said Fulgora, which wouldn't make any sense. It would be nice, but no. We must go to the Glebs. Yeah, we don't need three of these. Two should be fine. Now I have eight rare Q2s. So am I best served by upgrading one of these or this one? First. I don't even know. I don't even know! And like here, should I be requesting... Because I could request additional uncommon of these. Because we have lots of uncommon... No, we have no uncommon green chips. Why do I have no uncommon green chips? Shouldn't I have uncommon green chips? I would need to be recycling blues with quality. That would require the death loop to have quality, which we haven't done yet. Head. Head is a splode. That would require these to have quality. And then we're gonna be getting quality on everything. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, so am I just gonna skip uncommon, I guess? Like, we'll have some regular Q2s and then just rare Q2s, and we'll just ignore uncommon Q2s overall. Because then... Oh, there's too much. There's too much! Alright. The important part is... <laughs> Electromagnetic Science Pack is unlocked. So now... Between accumulators, oh, 
And we need regular... I didn't even remember. We need regular accumulators. Um, just because... Yeah, let's just do something like this. Um, because those go into the EMP packs. Oh my gosh. Do we make the EMP packs in here? We do. Okay, so that's nice. You get productivity attached to your EMP packs. Or your EMS, Electromagnetic Science, I guess they're called. Um, so let's put that over here separately. And they require two fluids, but they can go next to each other like this. Will this work? And then we can do a provider and a requester. Like this. Request the solids, that's not requesting enough. We want like 18 and 18. How many does it require per craft? One of each for a 10 second crafting time. No, 18's a little much. Maybe just 10 is good. If I do speed modules, it'll maybe be more than 10. All right, fine. It's just a buffer, not the end of the world. This is nuts! Do I need to... I think I'm okay prioritizing. Because this is going to high priority the Holmium solution. So now we're still going to have low priority Holmium solution to the plates themselves. Which is probably the best way to do it. And here we go! Our first electromagnetic science pack. Boom. I don't have to worry about them spoiling. Happy Friday, Leah. To you as well. And now we just gotta ship these darn things over to Nauvis, which means I need a silo to make rockets to send these things right up to space. What a time to be alive. Okay, so... That means... Oh, here's a perfect time for our blueprint. Because we can put rocket silo here. And it's not going to put 5 billion items. Wait. Ooh, there is a thing with 5 items. Um, but yeah, it's not going to put 5 billion of them in here. So that's nice. You assume the parameter is a science you just haven't seen yet? What? I don't actually know what you're saying. What you talking about? Super capacitor was also five items? Yeah. But some of them were fluids, so... That wouldn't have mattered in this... Well, I guess it just counts the ingredients in order, so... In this case, if the fluids weren't the last ingredients, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, Angry Apple, parameters are unlocked with blueprints. So now you just can parameterize from the beginning. We were doing it on Nauvis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's go. It's awesome. Um, it's really awesome. So yeah, we've got, we've got freaking electromagnetic science packs. Do I have a lot of them? No, I only have a hundred of them, but we have them. So the next thing to do is to vastly improve our scrap recycling capabilities. And we're also sort of running low on power. Did our bots finish the power fields? They did. Do I have a lot of uncommon accumes? We do. We have a hundred. So that's another gigajoule we can throw into the into the network here. Um, uh, let's 
let's see. So uncommon accumulators. Let's just get this as its own little blueprint. Ah! Why am I doing it? All right, so there's that. Let's get a RoboPort around here somewhere. So that should help a bit with power. And then, where are we gonna put processing of more stuff? So the nice thing is we can get power like, we picked a good island, because if we had picked an island like that, we'd be a little bit stranded. But now we can actually connect across with bot networks and stuff. So we can go across these islands um, pretty easily. And what I'm saying is we can do processing on those islands and bring the stuff back, which is nice. So let's clean up this blueprint a bit. rare batteries yeah see the thing is we have like uncommon batteries and uncommon iron plates so now we can just directly make accumulators without having to do this nonsense when we can I just, my head hurts. The number of ways we could do this is so large, it makes me, like, not even have an idea of what, what way I want to do it. <laughs> oh, it's so crazy, because it's like, how do you wrap all these things together into one nice little bow? Because, like, what if I want to use these uncommon items for something else? Which way do we do it? Also, don't worry, everybody, naming game redemptions will happen. <laughs> we shall hydrate with our sugar-free cherry cola. You're so impatient to be in the same situation as me. <laughs> yeah, it is an interesting situation. To say the least. Yeah, here I'm deciding what to do. How much power do these take? These take like 200 kilowatts. So we could save a little bit of power with beacons because a beacon is going to affect what? Five of them. So is it really worth beaconing is what I'm trying to figure out. need like a mall blueprint version for the magnetic plant. But see, I could make, I probably have enough of like uncommons of these, but I, what if I don't want to share them with this process? This is just such a weird system of stuff. But yeah, we'll just settle for normals now. It's That'll save a decent chunk of power, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, this blueprint is a hot mess. 
but I don't know how to make it better. So, I'm not gonna. Um, I'm gonna cut the end off here. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. Maybe here. And uh, no, something like this. Uh, cliffs are going to be a problem. This is a cliff free zone. We're okay. Um. Yeah, okay, so we'll do that. Constant combinator and a few decider combinators. No, because you can't filter multiple things. Um, you can't filter off a set of items with one splitter. So the problem is splitters can only filter off one thing at a time. And so if you're filtering off one group left and one group right, you can't do that. Um, Unless there's something I don't know about. Which is, let's be honest, very possible. Okay, so scrap comes in. This is the stuff. Uh, let's see stuff that goes out. This is the re-recycled stuff. Oh, I lost the beginning of... This is supposed to be the very beginning of that. What's this? This is... That's good. And then, of course, need lightning protection and lights themselves. Yeah, inserters can filter uh, pretty good with with combinators, but even then, inserters only have a limit of five. So that can be problematic depending on how you built things. Yeah, bulk inserters have a limit of five filters. There's no way to filter an actual set of items at any given time. It, like, if you could, if you were talking about 40 different items and there might be situations where 25 of them need to go left, there's no way to do it. Um, basically, you need to filter the set of items plus the amount of items that you want to move, and then eventually the, the, the bulk inserters will have the five highest signals that they'll set as the filter, so then as certain items go down to zero, it'll start grabbing the other ones and then filter those. So you can, like, that's how you do a multi-provider situation, basically, with uh, uh, LTN. So I've done stuff like that before, but it doesn't work very well. Or, so, okay, so now the problem is I'm not making any regular Q1s, which is kind of funny. We're working on all these rare Q1s, but now I'm out of rare blue chips. So maybe, maybe it is about, maybe you do both. Maybe we should be doing a Q2. Just make a bunch of regular Q1s. I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, you can filter based on quality. I don't know if you can filter... Yeah, you can filter, like, 
you know, greater than uncommon of any item for splitters and and such. If you're filtering a specific item, you have to pick a specific quality. You can't be like iron plates greater than uncommon. Um, so that's not an option. I'm also out of electromagnet plants, magnetic plants, which is unfortunate. That's because we're not making plates anymore. Because we don't have any holmium. Because everything's stopped up. Um, I have a lot of uncommons. So I guess we should try making some uncommon plants. Of course, we don't have uncommon refined concrete. Oh, goodness, this game is going to murder me. This game's going to be the end of me. Um, all right, what are we doing? Over here. Let's figure this out first. So... Whatever makes it past the end here. Oh, we, we forgot one more belt on the end. Oh, we actually, like, actually are missing a belt. Forgot one more belt. Uh, this is the, supposed to be the one that says stone. Greater than 2,000, but not uncommon. Normal stone. Okay. Oh, but it's flipped. So it looks like this. Okay. So that's what that looks like. And then this is... All the items. That need to go into the bot network. Okay, so then what we should be able to do now is have another stop for our train get up. Ah, I'll put that up here. This is an hour and a half episode. Wonderful. Nice work, Crydex. I'm doing really good with keeping these episodes nice and short, aren't I? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. I don't know how. I don't know how. this in the rail planner to somewhere down here where it can then get connected whoa no we don't want that there, that'll do it. Okay, but then it also needs to be able to go... ...through... ...there. Then we're gonna have to signal... ...chain... ...regular. So we're gonna go to the fueling station. Okay. This is a hot mess, but it'll work. Maybe, I think. 
<laughs> Dave. Yeah, that's uh, basically how I feel. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's give you some solid fuel. Do we have any? No? No solid fuel? What about rare quality solid fuel? Just grab stuff from the belt for a minute. That was a bad idea. Um... Why is it so crooked? Because I use the rail planner. Bla I can just blame every problem I have on the rail planner. Don't you worry. Um, okay, so then we put regular fuel in there, and then I should be able to assign to scrap delivery trains, hit go, and say automatic, and it should just work. It's gonna go to the refuel station now. Um, down here. It'll refuel. Uh, waits for five seconds of inactivity. And now there's no path. Destination stop full. That's because that one was filling up. So now this should go fill up. have a radar over here but we can we can believe that it's working and filling up and then there we go and it paths back here and there's our scrap I mean it works cool and now uh, we've got more junk. More junk! All right, we're gonna have to call it an episode there for those of you future YouTubians. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next episode.